everybody to beginner's session number five of the Red Gate Kids Coding Club. Uh, I'm Ali. Hello. This is... Dougie. Hello. And we're joined by... Kathy. Hello. Hey. So, yeah, uh, we've been doing a few coding lessons so far, haven't we? Yeah. We've been having fun, haven't we? Yeah. So, let me get rid of that and just share this. So I'd just like to um, make sure we give a nice call out to Code Club UK. Uh, Code Club are a, um, a charity that help uh, kids learn to code. Well, help everybody learn to code, really. Um, if you go onto their website, you'll find some of the projects we've been working on. They've been helping us by giving us some great materials to use with you, some great projects to use with you. And later on, when we're all out of lockdown, you can go to codeclub.org and find your local code club and go along. And it's completely free. And if you don't find a code club, you can start your own. There you go. Cool, huh? Yeah. And I'm doing a code club right now. And I started the code club by thinking that I missed the code club at school that I do. Yeah, so we thought we would get started our own code club and share it all with you. Well, there's a major code club that we're still joining in. Yeah, so, so that's a big hopefully big everybody is here and we're going to get started in a minute. So, the project we are going to do today is called... Paintbox! Paint box, make your own paint box. Very cool. We're going to make our own paint, paint, box. paint box application. It's going to be a lot of fun. So what we're going to build is this. Oh, 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 yeah. You tell everybody what it is. Well, I am going to draw mm -hmm. Pikachu. Oh, go on then. I'll try. Go on then. Uh, uh, that's going to be his face. That's not looking a whole lot like Pikachu yet. But well, if you squint real hard. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, that's his ears. Great. So what we've got here is we've got a few different things going on. We're going to add in the... <laughs> We're going to add in the pen module so that we can start drawing on the screen. We're going to add some different colors down here so that you can click on the different colors and the pencil's going to change color uh, when we click on the different colors to draw and we've got the erase button as well so you can click on your eraser to get rid of stuff that isn't right you yeah. should have, and a clear button like that so that's what we're going to get up to today so let's I want to draw just a little one more thing okay very quickly then Yay, that's us, excited about Code Club. Let's try to You like your glasses, because you've got a one lens scarf. Yes. So, hopefully, everybody's managed to get the link open that Kathy shared. I guess we should share it one more time, just to make sure everybody's oh, seen it. God, an uh, would you be able to pop that in for us, please, Kathy? Yep. Cool. So, we have two sprites. So this has already got us started. Uh, that link should have us started nicely, okay? So we've already got our sprites in. So we've got our pencil sprite down here and our eraser sprite. Eraser. Eraser. It's pronounced eraser. Okay, good. Now, well, Dougie, could you show everyone how to add in the pen module? Well, so this is our code, and you can find that there's this little block with blocks added in with a little plus. You click on that, and wow, look at all these extensions. One's connecting to Lego as well, and with <laughs> things. And But today, we are going to do the, which one is it again? The pen one. Pen one. Yep. Draw with your sprites. It's coll it. in collaboration with, we do not know. Yep. Uh, so just to show you again, there's this button down on the bottom bottom left down here what? that you can click on add to add extension. And then it should be in the middle at the top. So hopefully you've all clicked on that. And what that does is it adds a new section into your code blocks down here. Which is called pen. But in Scratch 2, you already have the pen extension, but it's not an extension at all. That's cool. Okay, so Kathy, you have you managed to get the, the pen module in there yet? Have you? 
Just about. Okay, so where do we want, what do we want to start with, Doug? Look, our mouse, the pen doesn't follow us when we're moving our mouse. Should we start off by yes. getting it to follow our mouse? Yes, we hate you, Pencil, because it's not following our mouse. You should say that to the naughty pencil. Well, no, let's, let's teach it how to follow us. So what do we need first? Okay. Have a think, you know this. You don't need to follow the instructions. Yes, I do. Oh, do you? If this is called Clothes Club because... We have some individuals who cannot uh, find the blue pencil. Can we walk through that again? To find the blue pencil? Well, ah. Actually, right. you might want to, so you can... But click on this sprite circle. So if you go to, in your, in your address bar here, there's actually a, a starter project that you can use, which is if you go to rpf.io slash pain box on like that. So if you go to that URL and hit go, it'll take you straight to the starter project, which has these two sprites in already. Yeah. Well, we might need to add the X block one in the... In the so hopefully that's... Really everybody's nice. got hold of that. And we might need to draw a few sprites. If not, if you're still having problems with that, you can always add the sprites by hand. So you do that by clicking on this button down here. You can't find the eraser, so you might need to uh, duplicate yeah. that thing. Because it's... You might want to duplicate <coughs> the pencil and cut it in half yeah. with bitmap. Okay, I where were we, Doug? We were going to try and get this pen to follow our mouse. So what yes. do we need first? Well, we want to add some events. So you can click on this circle, or let's go back to whatever one. You can just scroll up using the scroll mm -hmm. bit. But we want our event one first, don't we? So we want to go when the flag is clicked. Yep, so we when we... Grab that, we drag... We click and drag into the middle section. Into the middle section. There are some dots to help you do it neatly, but it, you can just do it however you like. Mm -hmm. And then, how do we get that sprite to follow our mouse? So our program started because we clicked green. Now what do we need to do? Okay, so now we need to click the control and go on to the forever. So this is a loop, so it will do whatever's in the middle of this block forever. Forever. <laughs> and when you click on it, the yellow stuff stays around there forever yep. until you so, re-click it. So connect it up where it needs to go. So you can just find it and when it makes a little yep. blank bit there. there. Go. So now what? What do we want it to do? So our program started and we're going to keep going around forever. So we want it to do... Motion. Ah. Go to. Now we always test our code. So, forever go to. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's drawing itself! So, I think we need to change that go to random position. But that's a really good point, Dougie, about always testing your code. You keep trying it out all the time so that you know yeah, that it's do, working. Do, do, do. Oh, that's great. So what did you do? Could you, could you go back and slow down and show everybody what you did? Okay. So, I clicked on go to random position mm -hmm. and dragged it into the forever block. I'll make another grey space mm -hmm. that you can look and then, in. But we don't want it to go to random position, so we clicked. Wait, oh. I'll show you what it, act, what it did. So we don't want it to draw itself. So we choose from that list, mouse pointer. So now it follows the mouse. Should we give everybody a minute to get that done? Yeah, there are two ways as well, but we're not going to do two ways. Yeah, no. <laughs> we do have someone who says the project's not loading for them. I believe they're on the desktop. We have des you Scratch can just Desktop. Create your own. Oh, okay, are they using the desktop version of Scratch mm -hmm. or are they using. Yeah, the desktop version of Scratch. See, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, just not loading for us today. Uh, okay, let's have a thing. <laughs> Someone says they're dressed up as Harry Potter today. They uh, win. <laughs> so that sounds great. I'm not dressed as Harry Potter today, but my Slytherin scarf is downstairs somewhere. You're, I'm Gryffindor. Oh, expect too much freedom. Yeah, okay, so we've got our pen. What's next, Doug? What are we going to do now? Now we can just 
stop the pen from falling up. Okay, so we hit stop. So now okay. we want to put but what we're going to do is if we click, we want it to draw. So, so we go to our control. This is the orange circle, not the not the yellow circle, but the one underneath. Just can I just explain something to everybody yeah. because it, it can be a bit weird to think about when you first start doing this. So in the pen module, if you think about a sheet of paper and a pen, like if I don't want to draw, my pen is up off the paper like that. But when I do want to draw, I need to put the pen down ah. on the paper so that I can draw. So, but it seems like um, you might want to do pen up as like that, but it's not up. No, that's right. Uh, yeah, so if you, if you ever get confused, can you uh, So I just want to show somebody um, something else because somebody's trying to open it on their desktop machine. So just very quickly for those um, that are using their desktop machine, we'll be able to find, yeah, there is, there's actually a starter project that you can use uh, for the online version as well. Painful. So rpi.rf, uh, no, rpf.io slash uh, paint box off. Well, yeah, off, because you're offline. Um, and if you go to that one, no, I didn't go to it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, fantastic. Why is there a person grinning? Look at that man! So, uh, if I just go back to here, there's a starter project. If you can find uh, the paint box project here, which I can pop into the chat box, like that. So there's the link in the chat box for everyone. If you go there, there's a starter project that you can download um, by clicking this one. So that will download a zip file and inside there you've got the project as well. Wait, okay. No one can see me. Don't panic. Part of my head is missing. Oh no. <laughs> Look at that lady. Right, okay. So we've got it following our mouse pointer and now we're gonna do our writing, Doug. So can you show everybody how to do some drawing when you click down? So we want to go to our, to our control circle, the orange circle here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll scroll down until we find this one that looks like an E. So it's the if else block. So so if the this only works around here. So if touching mouse pointer, do something, then if it's not touching mouse pointer, do something else. Okay, so what do we want to check? So we've said if we're clicking, if the mouse button is down. You sounded a bit weird. Yeah, that's because I did a little hiccup whilst I was speaking. If, now, <laughs> is it mouse down or is it mouse down? Okay, so, so if mouse where, and where did you find that? Well, we go to uh, under control, yeah. There's something called a, a light blue sensing. Light blue circle on the left, right. sensing. And what do we want to happen if the mouse is down? Well, we just want it to uh, draw. So we go to our open extension of eternity. Yep, and what do we do? Grab the which block? Um, so pen down. Great, and what do we want to do if the mouse isn't down? Pen up. Pen up. So now let's try. Yeah, so we hit go. <laughs> but it only draws with the... With blue? Yeah. Okay. Draw red. Wait, do we need to do a spell? Abracadabra, make it red. Let's see. No. For all those other parents out there um, who have been doing a lot of homeschooling, <laughs> I hope you can see that exactly the same thing is happening in our houses in your house. <laughs> Manic, excited children. Oh, I feel for y'all. <laughs> That's good. You've got a cat there. Cat's a Wait, I'll oh, eat that all. Right, so, uh, oh, that's a really good point. Should we do that? Yeah, well. So how do we clear the stage? So, we, we. When, well, when we click on the green button. So, what, which green button? So, so when we click on the green flag, how do we clear the stage? Do you well, know? Well, we want to click on the eraser. 
Oh, and you put right. it above the forever. So now it doesn't oh, forever. Nice. Wait, it won't draw when I. Yeah, so I'll just, uh, can I just explain something? Oh, to yeah, everybody? because it's just touching the thing and you're on edit mode, so yeah. you might be able to move. The... So you, you might find that your pen doesn't quite draw right sometimes. That's because this screen here is currently in edit mode. So in edit mode, you can actually click and move your sprites about. Um, so like, say you want to arrange your, your, we wanted to choose where the eraser was. I could click on the eraser and move it over to here. Uh, so what we'll do, it, to change it away from edit mode into run mode, you can click this full screen button here. Oh. And now, it, it should draw absolutely fine. So you might find it behaves a little bit weird when we're working in edit mode, but yeah. don't panic. It will all be fine later. Don't be manic. Don't go manic. Don't go mad. So what we've just done is we've added our erase all block when we click the go button. So that clears the stage. So we're ready to and, start with a fresh piece of paper. And also, if you want it to actually, um, if you actually want to like, um, know if we put a different block in, if, if, we, if we put the thing, then you can just go to, um, you can always see that there's a pen symbol on the end, oh, but it yes. doesn't show a yellow dot, but it's actually yellow. Yeah. But all okay. the extensions now, are that colour. Now, what we're going to do is the fun bit, we're going to change the different colours. So first of all, we need to add some new costumes for our blue pencil, Well, we so we can turn it Yellow when it's yellow and green when it's green. Could you show everybody how to do that so, with costumes? With, with, so we're going to go up here and then choose paint a sprite. Uh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to click on our pencil <laughs> and then go to the costumes tab. And, and then, then on there's... pencil A. So if you just let's click on. Ju let's just delete that eraser so it doesn't go all Okay. Neat. So we're going to click on number one up there, Doug. Can you so click on number one? Double, so click it on this side. Right click, that's right. Right click, and then right click, and it'll show duplicate or export. We want to duplicate. Cool. Then we, then we go to our fill. So we choose so the there's, fill bucket. There's a blue one, so we want it to go black. Are we so, going to do black or yeah. yellow? No, uh, we're going to do black first. So, okay. so you just click on the, wait, undo. So I'll show you what I did. I clicked on the fill. I go, I went to this and then changed color to zero, saturation, um, one. So all of them can go zero. Yeah, and, and then. now make it black. And then you can click on that blue bit, not the black bit line there. Yeah, that's it, so click and then, it. And then, it'll, and then okay. click it and I'll black right and to make our lives easier later we're going to change the names of our costumes as well so that's pencil a so why don't we call that pencil blue and then pencil. By, so if you type in this box up here you can change the name to pencil blue and then when we click on this one we're going to change it from pencil a2 to pencil black and then we want to do a yellow pencil Yep, so you're going to do a yellow pencil So thing. duplicate it again. Wait, let's just duplicate from the blue one. Okay. Duplicate again, and we're going to... It's this one. Yeah. It might it, or we'll duplicate underneath the one that you started mm -hmm. with. Just I think we are going a little fast. Um, a, a couple of people uh, are asking if we can go back to the code. Sure, we can go back to the code. Yay! There in a second. Uh, yeah, move the color one across a bit. Yeah. We'll just finish off this yellow pencil and then we'll come back. There we go. A bit more orangish, yeah. And then we fill again. There we go. And right. then we keep duplicating we until we get green okay. and yellow and red. So here oh, is our code. Yet. Let's walk everybody through the code again. So we're on our pencil. Click. Click. And what we want is at the start of when our program starts, by clicking on the green flag. The first thing we're going to do is erase everything that's currently on the screen because we want it to start fresh every time. So that erase all block, any of the blocks with the pen on them, you can find under the pen block here. If you don't see the pen block there, you can click on this button down here 
the add extension button down on the bottom left, like that. And at the top in the middle, you should see pen. And you click on that, and then you should see all the pen blocks here. And you don't get two sets of them. Mm -hmm. Never. Then what we did is we added a forever loop oh. and we told the pencil sprite to follow, go to the mouse pointer forever. So at the moment it's just following it and not drawing. Yeah. Then once we've got it following that, we want to test to see if the mouse button is down or up. And if the mouse button is down, we want the pen to go down so it should draw. And if the mouse button isn't down, it's going to go up. So that's this if block here. If else. Um, if, if else block, you're right. Yeah, if, so it looks like an E. It, look, it does look like an E, doesn't it? And then, so that's why it's called an <coughs> E loop. And then there's a C loop and a regular block, a Boolean and an operator. A Boolean? I'm not going to do the boo thing again. Okay. And you don't do it. Okay, I won't. I won't. I've been told. So, hopefully... Everybody's kind of up to speed there. How are we getting on, Kathy? Are people doing all right? I think people are doing all right. The conversation is turning back to costumes. Costumes, <laughs> great. Everybody loves having a costume. It is Friday after all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right. I want to make a costume, please. Okay, okay. okay. This so wants... I want to do the red costume. So, you so I'm going to click on the first costume, dub, and then, then right click on it, and then what do I do? Click duplicate, and then I'll make <laughs> another version of it, and then it'll be so cool. Cool, and then I can change, I want to choose the right colour, so I'm going to do a red pencil. So I'm going to move these sliders about until I find a nice shade of red, that looks good. And do that, it's near and purple. then click on the bucket. Fill. The fill bucket, and then if I click on the background of the pencil, it changes it there. And then we need a green one as well. Oh, yes, we do need a green one. But green, look, green, we green. need to change the name of our costume here. Pencil. So we want it to be pencil red. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, just... oh, and we have done our yellow one. For so one it's... scary moment, I thought I forgot how to spell red. Do you know what? When I was at university, I was in one of my final exams of university and it was essay questions. And I was, I wasn't typing away, I was writing away and I got to the word use. And my hand wrote a Y. And then I panicked because I was like, what comes after Y in use? And then I was like, am I going to fail my university degree because I can't spell the word use? And I panicked. And then all of a sudden <laughs> I realised, oh. Use doesn't start with a Y, it starts with a U. Exactly, and it was fine. <laughs> that's why it's called use. Yes. Use. So that's what happened to me. Yeah, unfortunately, so, I hope you'll forget that my daddy baby. Weird. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> so hopefully we've got some costumes. Oh, forget right. that my daddy baby. <laughs> Thank you. So what's next, Doug? Now we need to be able to change the colours of our pens, don't oh, we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I told sorry. you we need a green pencil. Wait, one second. We've been, um, we've been left behind. How do you repeat the pencils? Someone asked if we could go through that one no more time. Problem. So if we go back to the costume, you click it, click on it on the left-hand side. Maybe we'll just do the green one. Yep, we'll what? do the green one. And then you right-click on that, and then you can click Duplicate. And it will make a new one that's the same you, underneath. You can just fill and then it with green. Click on that one, and we're going to change the fill color to green. Hallelujah, green is the color of life. Hallelujah. Sorry, I, I, attention. And then we do that. So we've got we've got those pencils there. And the last thing we want to do is make sure we remember to rename the costumes so that it's easy to find them later. So we're going to call this one Pencil Green. Great. And I, hopefully that's us all set there. Are you all ready? But right now, just make sure you've got one other colour. So we don't need to worry too much about having all the colours to start with. You can finish those off later when you're ready, OK? Yeah, we, we just did all of them. So let's do blue and green. So what we need to do now is we need to add our little colour squares down the bottom. So we've got something to click on. So what do we need to do to I'm do... I'm stop the fag so that... OK, yeah. yeah. So what do we need to do, Doug? Well, we're going to go up here and then the list will go and then you... 
you can click on paint and we're not doing surprise. No, so we're going to add <laughs> a new sprite. Whoa, it's blank and it's invisible. We cannot see it. Just a sec, I just want to explain to everybody. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a couple of squares onto the screen. One that's going to be blue, like this. So this is where we want to end up at the end of this step. Oh, bear with me. Boy. So we want to end up with two little blue squares. Uh, one blue square and one green square like this. <laughs> You're getting confused with my rubbing your head when it's like, oh, forget that. Point. How do you wish? To be quiet, you. Okay. So tell me, talk to everybody else. So we're going to do that by adding two new sprites into our project. And mm, to great. do that, what we're going to do is go down to the bottom right of our screen and there's this like cat with no eyes and a plus symbol. <laughs> Um, I'm a blind. We're not gonna we're not gonna click on it, we're just gonna hover over it and then move up mm. to the paintbrush there and that'll add in a sprite. So we've got sprite two empty sprites. And if we click on that, we're gonna do we're gonna draw a square. Can do I you wanna show everybody how to do the square? Okay. We click on the square tool and then if we draw it now we've got an outline. I'll delete that by clicking the delete button and when it's selected. We so we want no outline. So you click on this red line, that, and then if you're wondering why there's always a red line, that means that none of it. Red line means none. I don't, yeah. I don't know why, it just means no outline. So draw a square, nice and big. <laughs> Not that big. Uh, that looks good to me. Not yeah? that big. And then Perfect. you can slide it onto there so it matches up in the centre. Yeah. And then where do we want it to be? Do we want it to be in the middle of the screen? No, we can click it and move it down there. Yeah. Perfect. And then we also want it. So instead of So why don't, why don't we that. name that sprite? We need to change the name for our sprite and we're going to call it green. And then we can duplicate that by doing the same with the costumes. Oh, that's a good idea because then it'll be the same size, won't it? Yeah. So if I'm right click, Duplicate. Okay, and then we're on this one, but it's still called green too. Then we can go on our fill, and then we can go and slide onto a... Wait, Dad, just to make sure that it's the right shade, you can always... Well, hold on. I think somebody just wants to know how to create the empty sprite. So, just to show everybody again, we're going to hover over this button down here, and then click on the paintbrush. And not... The surprise. Just no, the no. paintbrush, and then what it should do is it should open up the costumes tab Wait, on we... costume one. That should be empty. Can we actually click surprise? Just this once, and then delete surprise. Fine. So I'm going to click surprise. See what we get. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. All right. Goodbye, <laughs> Mr. Sprite. So we've got green and green two. <laughs> so to create no, the second yes. one. Hilarious indeed. <laughs> so create this one. So we've clicked on it. Shush, shush, shush. <laughs> so we've got our we've got our costume one here, and we're just going to use the fill bucket again to put blue on there like that. And if you want it to be exactly the same, you can just we can we could do that in a minute, can't we? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna so, this, so 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 so. Really uh, and we're going to call our sprite. <laughs> Come and do another surprise. No, maybe at the end. Wait, a surprise and a right, surprise so backdrop. Now we need to work out when we click on the colours, we need to, the pencil to change colour. Yeah, so it's like dipping it in paint, like like a quill. So you can dip it in a different colour. Oh, like dipping ink. it in ink, yeah. Yeah, like totally deep pools of ink. Okay, colour. so how do we do that? Do you know about events? Oh, yes. And broadcasting messages? Yes. So what we want to happen is we want our sprites to talk to each other, don't we? Yeah. We want to go, hello, sprite, and love you too. Maybe. So <laughs> when what we want to happen is when we click on the green sprite, we want it to shout, green! And then hopefully our pencil can listen to that and say, what is it? What's people saying? Oh, they're saying green. Okay, I need to be green. Or you can go when when sprite click send. Oh yeah, send yeah. message. So you've already told me how to do it. So let's make sure. So this is the tricky bit. This is probably where people get a bit lost usually. Yeah. You need to make sure you're adding the code 
to send a message to the other person. Oh, we have someone asking. Um, they don't know how to make the squares. No problems. We can do that once more, okay? So, mm -hmm. again, we're going to create a new sprite to be our square. And I to know. add that sprite, we're going to hover over this button down here. Wait, we, in and then the end, click on the paintbrush down here. In the end, we could add bits so that we can make little um, patterns. Uh-huh. And then it should take you to the empty costume here on the sprite. But if not, you can just click costumes. And we're going to choose a, a square to draw a square. And we're going to choose the color that we want. And this time we're going to do red. Like that. Yeah, let's do a red square as well. And then you can just drag a square on and you're all set. Yeah, but that, um, look how big that is. How much have you been eating red? Okay, so I'll make it a bit smaller then, shall I? No, but we need to make it, we could just duplicate the other square. That's probably close enough, isn't it? No, it's not. Hmm. We need to duplicate the square. We need to duplicate it. Please. It, yeah! No, please duplicate it, please. That's please. okay, so we've already got those. That's, that's good enough for now. And then we stick it to the centre, please. Okay. You can always use that. So you can drag it to be in the centre. There we go. And that's it's... in the wrong place. <laughs> 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 na, 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 na. Red is dead. There we go. We're all set. That was a bit manic. Na, 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 na. Red is dead. <laughs> right, so we need to get these messages going because this is the bit. So now we need to, let's make sure we click on the right sprite. So we need to make sure we add the code to the right sprite. Can we duplicate that? Uh, so we're going to click on green. Okay. So make sure we're on the right sprite. You can that, see which sprite you're adding the code to because it has like a picture of it in the right. Up, up here. That's in time flag. In Italian flag or something. Yeah, kind of. Well, yeah, I don't know what flag that is. It's like a backwards Italian flag. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> can someone help us? Like at the start about... Right, let's focus on the code, bud. Funny. Focus, focus, focus. Right, so what do we want to happen? When... When green is clicked, we want to tell everybody that we want to use green ink. Yes. So how do we do that? Well, we will go to our events. And when, when the sprite is clicked, so oh use, yeah. When the sprite is clicked, then what do we want to happen? We want to go and go broadcast message. So we're going to broadcast a message out to all the other sprites. We're going to make a we're new going, message called green. Green. Uh, and hit OK. So to do that, broadcasting these message. are both in events. So we're going to broadcast green when the, the sprite is clicked. To change the message, we just click on that drop down there and then click new message and we can type in whatever we want. Oh. So now our green sprite is broadcasting wow. green. Wow. So how do we get Oh, no. <laughs> our pen's still that colour. So let's make our pen blue so we can show everybody what's going on. So how do we make our pen change green? Well, we want it so that when we receive, so it's broadcasting the message, wow, 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 but the message goes through the pen instead of hitting it. So we want to go to our pencil and then go when it goes wow, 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 instead of going through the pen, we want it to hit the pen and say, so we need to add a new molecule so that will hit the pen. Molecule? So we want... <laughs> new <pen>. molecule. <laughs> so, so, I, so don't worry if we're going a bit fast at the moment. I'll come back around again. When I receive green. Yep, so we're going to add another event in. So that event is when I receive green. Oh. And what do we want to do then? So how do we so make the pen go green? So now it hits it, but it doesn't know anything. Mm -hmm. Well, what should I do? What should I do, says Mr. Pencil. <laughs> what, what should he do? Well, we want him to change his costume with looks. So we should switch, go to switch costume and we want it to go pencil. I oh, know, not pencil blue, pencil green. Cool. Uh, hopefully you'll do this here. Yay! But okay, so let's, blue let's do a little... Oh, but wait a minute, our pencil's still blue. We'll come back to this in a minute. I'm going to start, go back to what we were doing at the beginning to show everybody. So to start with, 
what we need to happen is when the green sprite is clicked, when somebody clicks on it, we want it to broadcast a message out to all the other sprites in the program. But we don't have the green. right molecule. Yeah, it's fine. It's yeah. fine, Doug. I've got it under control. <laughs> so we've got. If you go across to the the panel over here, we're going to use a, uh, an event block, which is when this sprite is clicked, and pull that in. And then a little bit further down, there's a broadcast message, a broadcast block here that you can bring in. And we brought that in, and we needed to change the message by just clicking on this and clicking new message. So if, if you lot out there have already got this, why don't you go ahead and try and add the blue code in or the red code? Or the green, red code on now come on, please click the surprise. Um, right. Come on, please click the surprise. Maybe. Kathy, how do you think we go about doing the, the next mm. one, the blue one? The blue one? Mm -hmm. You'd have to click on the blue one. Nice. And, and then the go to the event circle mm -hmm. and click when this sprite clicked. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, and then broadcast green. Broadcast green? But we have to change it. <laughs> so what do I do to change it? So you'll click the uh, drop down. Huh? New message. New message, and we want to broadcast? Blue. Nice. Now can I please... So Perfect. now we've got this clicking blue. Hold on a second. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, children. Gotta love children. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got our, that happening. So let's go back to our pencil sprite. And we've got our two blocks of code here. So we've got the original one that makes it follow and draw. And we've got our when I receive green, switch costume to green. But Doug, it's not drawing. It's not drawing. How do we, how do we make it change color? Because right now I've got a green pencil that draws blue. That's not very useful, is yeah, it? Yeah, very not useful at all. So, I'm gonna stop you, naughty pencil. So when I receive green, switch costume to pencil green, and then we do change pen color to, and then we'll choose the backdrop. Let's choose this blue color. You want it, when I receive green, you want uh, the pen to go blue. Let's choose a blue, a green color. Mm -hmm. Now I'll go green. Let's click the flag again. We. Hey, wow. Hey. wow. Nice. It's green. So should we show everybody how to <laughs> wow. do the color thing again? Next so time. the color thing, so to make sure it was the right color, you, we use this little thing down here. It's called which is called, an, it's called the dropper. So if we click on that, it lets us click somewhere else. On the stage. On the stage and choose the colour from it. So we just clicked on our green block and now it's exactly the same colour. Yeah, exactly the same colour. Cool. So then we've got, we went to our blue swatch, our blue square. And we've got it broadcasting blue when we click on it. Well, so now, what do we need to do to make it draw blue? Go back to the pen. Go back to the pencil. Yep, yeah, you're right. And I'll, I'll stop you drawing green now. Then we go to... Oh, click on the pencil. And then, then another event, when I receive. Yeah, blue. so we'll just show that again. So I've got when I receive blue, and then where do you go? Somebody's asking... How do we change the costume again? Where do you find that block? It's in look so, look so, yeah. It's in looks, yeah. which is the purple section on the left. Oh, look so, look so, yeah. <laughs> and then change my look into an apple. <laughs> what a big right, new one. show everybody what to bring in then. Okay, <gasps> switch costume to pencil. Blue. Blue. Lovely. And then we're going to go... To our doo 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 pen, oh yeah, it's a pen color doo. So it's the same as the green one over there. We just and then click choose the color. That and then we click. Blue. Na -na. And then let's click the flag again. 
Excellent. Good job. Right, so we've got two colours. So that's probably enough colours for now, but everybody else, after the lesson, you can always continue and add all the other buttons. Oh, somebody said they've made it clear when you press the space bar. That's really good. I really love to hear how you've extended it and like made it your own thing. It's always fun to experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you, want okay. to, if you want to have a, so like an X, you can click on letters and then go scroll down and then you can find an X block thing if you want and then you can drag it there. And maybe you could start trying to erase. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't we do that? So we've, got, not... we've, we've added an X block. So how would we make it clear everything when the X block is clicked? Well, we can go to our events mm -hmm. when this sprite is clicked and uh -huh. then we just simply go to the pen and go erase all. And yeah. now let's see. <gasps> no, wow. Happiness, here comes sadness. <laughs> you are strange boy. A bit dark, a bit dark for this. <laughs> uh, someone has asked how to switch costumes. So switching costumes is all done through this look section here. So if you're changing how, what the sprite is looking like, you can always do this. So <clears throat> go into the look section there. And there should be this switch a costume to, uh, sorry, I'm on the wrong sprite, uh, pencil. <laughs> so you should have this switch costume to here, and then you'll be able to bring that in. Uh, and once you've got the, that block in there, you can just click on the down arrow and choose which one of the costumes you've made earlier for the different pencils, like that. If you haven't, if you haven't got any in there, it might be that you need to go back into your costumes and create these new ones by um, duplicating them and then just using the paint controls here to change the colors of the sprites. Great, okay, so why don't we get... Someone said their pencil is not drawing lines, please help. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that uh, it might be to do with trying to draw the lines in edit mode. Mm -hmm. um, so what you might need to do is up the top here, there's this full screen control. So when you go into that mode, you're actually in run mode. So when you click the green flag here, you can, it should work okay. If, mm -hmm. if that's not working, make sure when you go back to your code, up here. Wait, Dad, you... Hold on a second. It's on blue, but it's drawn green. <laughs> yeah, so it is. You're right. That's okay. We can solve that in a minute. Is that a pussycat walking past? It is. He loves the camera. <laughs> he claps so, it and brings her in. Here's the code that makes sure that your pen draws. So let's just double check that everybody's got it. So all we really need to start with is this forever loop. So when the green flag's clicked, forever, we want to follow the mouse pointer. So go to the mouse pointer, okay? And once we've got that working, we're gonna go to control and we're gonna add in an if then else block, which is this E shaped one, this orange E. We're gonna pop that in underneath and then we're going to go to the pen menu, which should be down the bottom here. And we say, if the mouse is down and put pen down, otherwise pen up. So else pen up like that. And mouse down is in the sensing section here. Do you know what? It'd be really useful if they added like a little search box up at the top of this, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we could complain to the creators of Scraps and a <laughs> Someone has um, asked, we have too many color buttons on the screen. How do we get rid of some? Too I would, many I would, color buttons. I would oh, think this okay. Works. So perhaps, um, Just right, click on that. I think I know what's going on. So you might need, if you've added too many sprites, 
uh, you can click on the sprite that you don't want anymore and then click this um, bin button here. Don't, don't destroy red. And how do we get the X? So the X was another sprite. So we click this, the choose a sprite button. No, so this time we clicked on that and then it gives us all these loads of different sprites you can use. And we're cheating, we're using a letter X for our X. So we clicked on the letters box up here and that filters it to the letters and then we went and we found our X. Like that. Or you could do another X, like a scratch X or X of yeah, yellow. Yeah, you could draw your own one. You could create a blank sprite and draw an X for yourself. Or maybe you can draw the monster of erasing, which is a huge, enormous eraser. A huge, enormous eraser. Yeah, and then when you click it, mm -hmm. a sound of <laughs> sound, and then all the things are erased. So, Dougie, you're right. When we started, when we hit the green button, uh, hold on. If I hit the green button now, oh. you need to click. Oh, if I click blue. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this seems fine. We'll move on then. Should we should we ha give the eraser a go? We haven't got very long, so should we get the eraser working? Mm. Or do you want to change the size of the pen? Which one do you want to do? Or maybe we could do homework for you all. Oh yeah, our homework will be making, adding, and more colours, and doing and doing the eraser. Doing the eraser. Should we, should we give everybody a hint about the eraser? It's, it's partly in the pen block. So somebody's asking, how do we stop the block sprites moving when clicked? Again, this is because it's in edit mode on this screen. It's only because it's editing. So if you just click and don't move your mouse on this screen, you'll be okay. Just a quick click and you'll be okay. But if you, um, when you're in this mode, if you click it, it won't move those it just we have had quite a few questions about the eraser. The eraser is very popular. <laughs> Should we do the eraser? I think yeah. We'll oh, okay, okay, right. okay. So what we're going to do is currently the eraser is hidden. If you don't have an eraser sprite, you might just need to draw a new sprite that looks like a, an eraser. I think you could probably do that. A quick way to do that would be to draw... Wait, you could just draw that. You could copy that. <laughs> what I was thinking was you could draw a an empty box with, oh, that's the film. Mm -hmm. Should we do a black outline like that? That kind of looks like a rubber, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so short. Sure. <laughs> 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 black blocks of rubber. I know. Or you I'm could not, just copy that. I'm not the best artist in the world. I'm, oh, there I'm, we go. Why don't we make it pink? A pink rubber. A pink rubber. Yeah, some rubbers are pink, right? Are you mental? A pink rubber! <laughs> right. Well, oh, of course, the one pencil I've got with me has a white eraser on the end. Right, let's, let's get this working for everybody then. Um, if you hang about till the end, we will help the people who are a bit stuck with the when I receive thing. Uh, when I receive and when I send. So I'm going to move this eraser down here. It's a tiny. It's, it's a bit it's big. Let's make it a bit smaller, like that. So you can change the size of your sprite by typing a number into this box here. So I've made it there. The only, the only. So for those people who are who are struggling with how do I do the send receive thing, we'll do that for this sprite now, won't we, Doug? So we're going to go back to our code. We're going to make sure we've clicked on our eraser sprite. And what we want is we're going to go to the events and we're going to find the when this sprite is clicked event. So we're going to bring that one in. Yeah. And the send and receive is called broadcast and receive. So you're broadcasting it out. Broadcast means you're telling all the sprites this message. Wow, wow, wow. Exactly like that, you see. So we've got that, and then we're going to bring in our broadcast like that. And right now it says it's broadcasting blue. We don't want that. We want broadcast arrays. Can so I just give a little? So sad. Let me finish this off. So we click on that arrow there, click on new message, and we're going to type in arrays. Okay. And then you, and then actually you might want to do a white. So that it erases. Mm. Just guessing that because you can't really 
you add a raise all. Okay, so I we've got it. that. So we're sending arrays now. So now... This is really, really fun. We're going to click on our eraser. Sprite here. That you can't see. Oh, you know what you've done, Doug? You remember you deleted the costume of the eraser on the pencil? What we wanted to do was add a... <laughs> uh, never mind. Okay. Tell me. I'll, I'll well, fix it. We're going to create a new costume and I'm going to draw a picture of my pencil like that. It's going to be a Minecraft a, man. A yellow pencil like that. Daddy, a Minecraft man face. Minecraft man. So there, that kind of looks a bit like an eraser, does it? No, not really. Well, yeah, it's like an eraser. I do that. I'm going to draw my eraser. That looks like an exclamation mark. A purple eraser. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that. And then you can play about with these paint controls for hours. They're really good fun. So I'm going to do it like that. Here, here we go. This is just a paint box. This is actually a paint box. It's just like a little painting application, isn't it? So there we go. So we've got this costume, which is our... Uh, eraser costume. And then you can embrace the world for existence. Oh, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> That's what you did once with Scratch. You need to erase it. Erase the universe, yeah. No, so, erase, no erase the whole Scratch. Can I just show the people because we're running out of time. I want to make sure everybody sees. Dun, so dun, what we want to happen, so we've got our, when we click on this eraser sprite here, can I just show it's going to broadcast the eraser message. And now for the pencil, I'm going to click on the pencil. And we want to say, when I receive, and change the message to erase, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually make our pen white. So it's like we're drawing over the top of it. Yeah? So we're going to do, uh, we need to go to looks and set our costume to eraser. And we're going to go to pen. And we're going to set it to... That's, that looks what? like a little thingy bob. It does look like a little thingy bob. Thanks. <laughs> of Go. death and destruction. A thingy bob of death and destruction. So that's white. So there we go. So now it's white. So I'm going to click on this. And then... You're clicking the on the actually... Sprite, you're clicking on Sprite. Uh, mm, you need to go into Yeah, that's because if I go into this mode, yeah, there we go, it's working now. It's uh, working but very it's very thin. Shall we make it fatter? No. Oh, how much is... You haven't been eating enough. Eat mm. some more meat. Well, or vegetable of your choice. Mm. <laughs> vegetable make you thinner. What's going on here? It's not... Hmm. This happened before, didn't it? We've had this problem before where it doesn't see the clicks because the the sprites behind them is too far forward. How do we do this again? I think it's something to do with moving. Right, stop. I'm tired. <laughs> I think everybody's tired. Now can I show the them, Can I show them a little um like rep? What what happens when you broadcast a message? Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Like a little... So we, what we want to do is, if you find that's happening, you might just need to change the order of your sprites. So that, right now, that's at the front and that's at the... Oh, so you just need to change the, the vertical order. So sometimes you can play with these and it helps. I love playing with the application. Uh, nope. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Doug. So that one. <laughs> oh, not... you know what I've done? Sorry, for everybody who's wondering why that wasn't working for me. What it's doing is it's controlling. If we look at this here, for this sprite, this little thing here, this sort of X thing, is where the middle of the sprite is. So when we're clicking, that's actually where we're clicking, but the pencil isn't over the top of it. So the problem I've got at the moment, when I click on my eraser costume, it's my eraser's actually over the top of it, so I can't click on the thing underneath because I'm clicking on the eraser. It's in the way of that middle point. So what I need to do to fix this 
and make it huge normal. Is just move it away from the middle a little bit. Now it will. So works. now, oh, all right, of course, green. Click on my eraser, and then we can do that. And, uh, it's too thin. So it's too thin. Can we? Can Can I do a representation of what happens when you're when you like? Oh, that's true. Somebody, uh, somebody's given us a good hint on how to do things. This is why I love doing this code club because we're learning as much from you as you are from us. It's so fantastic. <laughs> so, so Dad, can you here we go. Let, let me show you what the person said we can do. What we can do is we can click on the eraser spray. We've got down there, and we've got the costume here. And What's in this? And if we duplicate that costume on our eraser, I think they said Ooh. we can drag it. Oh, nice, cool. So you can copy that, you can move them in between. So I'm going to move it onto my pencil sprite like that. It's huge, enormous. That is quite huge, enormous, isn't it? Should we make it a little bit smaller? <laughs> so we've got it there, like that. And we're going to put it near the middle, but not on the middle, aren't we? Ooh, shush. So, uh, so here we go. So we've got our eraser now. Uh, and I probably just need to change my code to do eraser two. Judging how big it is, like the, the judging, judging how big it is, actually the eraser size should be really, really small. That's because... right. So we're doing okay. So here we go. So we're just coming to the end of this session. There is lots more you can be doing. Can you stop tapping so everybody can hear? So there's loads more you can do. So we've just been following along today with the instructions that are on the uh, Code Club website. So if you go to codeclub.org, like that, uh, you can click on Explore Projects. And, and there are millions more the, you can explore. There, but there are loads to explore. We've had a lot of fun exploring these, but we've been working on module one of Scrap and here. I want to do an additional project after this one. Yeah, we can do that. But we've been working on Paintbox. Yeah, um, then we can do So both. there's loads more challenges you can do in here, like uh, undoing mistakes. So like doing your X block to go backwards and changing the width of the pencil. That's a really good one because you use... Um, you're using a, a slider control for that and a variable and you can change the width of your lines. So we'll share this link to these instructions in the chat window now so that if you want to keep going this afternoon, you can. And yeah, we'd love to see what you've been up to. Yeah, and maybe you can make some up and show it on. Um, oh, that would and be yeah, so cool. and, and remember, and there was a person uh -huh. who actually showed it to us before. I, he was a... I remember he was a boy and he made this rocket game yeah. and he had to go through lines and then go and then it it looked re it looked really really complicated and I really really liked it. So yeah. thank you for for whoever sent it to us. Yeah. If you're hearing this, I think you're going to be a little bit embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> Uh, whoever sent that in, it was fantastic. We really enjoyed it. Um, so you can always reply to the emails that you get if you want to share some of your projects. Um, but great. So thank you so much. And don't forget to visit the Code Club Wait, website. I, I want to show them a little representation of what happens when you send a message. Can you hold this? Okay. And so this? here we go. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Here's our message. So, so this one, this pen wants to say hello to the to the box, but he can't <laughs> say it. But he has no mouth. So he goes, so he ties a little message to this butterfly. He goes, here's your message. <laughs> <laughs> here's well, your message. Thank you from us. I'm Ali and this is Dougie. Can you say thanks and bye? Thank you and bye. And Kathy. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you'll have fun. See you later. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.